Today I'm making a comparison between the Click and Grow Smart Garden 9 and the Aero Garden Harvest. The main difference is obviously you can see the size difference. This is a six pod, this is a nine pod. Uh, this has got a base of lights at the top that rises up and down. This is kind of set at the height that uh, it's going to be sitting with the lights, uh, the rod at the top. Also the differences are in the in the cups as opposed to the pods where the Aero Garden all the root system goes into the bottom. You also have a pumping system here that pumps the water over the top uh, into these little uh, nozzles at the top. Where in the Click and Grow Smart Garden 9, it's got this little wick here that wicks the water up and everything is self-contained in this cup here, which makes it obviously easier to clean. You've got the basic kit that came with the uh, Click and Grow Home Garden 9. You've got the tomato, the basil, and lettuce. With the Aero Garden Harvest, I've got uh, six pods of basil because I, I like basil obviously I, I like using that most so I use those and the way this goes in just pops right down to the bottom here here's the difference in dome and these are reusable domes these uh, the domes for the Aero Garden tend to be more flimsy light plastic they tend to crack sometimes and they really don't sit all that well they just kind of float on there where the, the humidity domes for the click and grow kind of snap down and sit nice and flush I really like the way that that, uh, that sits. In the Click and Grow seed pod, everything's already included, all the nutrients, everything's already in that pod, where the Aero Garden, there may be some in that dirt, in that pod, but you also have to add the, uh, the plant food liquid into it every so often, and it tells you that in the front. These lights light up, and I'll show you when uh, what they look like when they light up. There's a little bit more involved when, if you're gonna be using the Aero Garden Harvest. You have to feed it once in a while, it's gonna ask you for water, it'll tell you when it runs low, there's a little float in there, and it's an electrically controlled little sensor. It'll tell you when it runs low and the light will come up and you'll just add it to the top of that fill line. We now have both of them set up. We have the humidity domes on top, got filled it with water. The Aero Garden got the extra plant food. So let's plug them in and see the difference in lighting. So I'm gonna plug in my Click and Grow Home Garden 9 and that comes on. So now the timer starts when we plug these in. The Aero Garden Harvest seems brighter Seems like it's it's a lot brighter, and you can adjust this top here up and down for growth. That's as high as it goes, so it's about roughly the same same height, give or take about an inch. The other thing that you hear with this one, I'm not sure if you can catch it on the microphone, is you hear the little pump in there, and the water flowing through the through the little nozzles there. So the timer's now set for 18 hours on both, 18 hours on, six hours off. So if you look at the front here, uh, you have. Three, three sections. You have the green here, which is for your uh, plant food, your blue for adding water, and uh, on off in the light. With the Aero Garden, if you hold down this, this button here, it will turn off. If you tap it, it turns off and on, but it doesn't change the time. If you hold it down while it's off, if you hold it down, it resets the timer. So right now, it just reset that timer. So you can you can turn that off and on manually if if it's lit up at night and you want to turn it off. The water and the food will turn red or start flashing when you have to uh, tend to it. On the other hand, the click and grow is pretty much set it and forget it. The light comes on when you plug it in, 18 hours on, 6 hours off. The water level is just a float. When that float drops down, you add more water. Food, you don't have to worry about. Resetting anything, you don't have to worry about. If you're using the Aero Garden version of it, uh, because the root system fills up the entire uh, cavity here, when it's time to replace these pods, you gotta open this up and clean it all out. The, the root system will kind of be all over it, all kind of tangled up like spaghetti. So it takes a little bit more for cleaning uh, and maintaining on this. Again, the pump may break on you. It, it may get clogged up with that root system. So you'll have to uh, clean that out too. Where the click and grow, you take out these cups, you, you dump out the root system, maybe rinse them out real quick and start again. They can both take your own seeds. You can buy the pods without the seeds uh, and plant your own seeds. Them. So they both are very, very similar, except for the way that they function throughout the growth process. I love this Aero Garden and uh, I love this unit too. It's just a matter of which one do you prefer? And I'll leave links for both of these down in the bottom in the description section. Now we just have to wait for the growth to happen and I'm going to show you week to week starting at week one and what the results are. We're going to see how they grow over the next few weeks. They both start at the same time, same day, and I'm going to show you week to week 
starting with week one. In week one, both the Arrow Garden Harvest and the Click and Grow Garden 9 look like the basil has already begun to sprout. Not much more is happening in week one. Week two, the mini tomatoes have sprouted. The basil and lettuce are coming along well, although there's a couple of pods in mini tomatoes and a lettuce that still haven't sprouted yet. Week three, the Aragon Genovese basil is doing very well. The Click and Grow 9, I had to replace a mini tomato and a lettuce pod with thyme and parsley because they didn't sprout. The basil doesn't look as large as the Aragon's version. The lettuce looks good and the mini tomato plants still have a ways to go. Well, I forgot to film at week four, but week five, I've begun to harvest some of the basil from both units. The mini tomatoes in the Click and Grow 9 are still too early to harvest. Parsley and thyme have begun to show growth. And look at the growth of the lettuce. It looks great and ready to harvest. By week six, I'm harvesting everything except for the mini tomatoes in the Click and Grow 9. They may take as much as six to eight additional weeks to form and ripen. So here I have the six week growth between the Aero Garden Harvest and the Click and Grow Smart Garden 9. Looks like they both did pretty well. You got uh, the basil here, which is, I only grew the basil in this one because that's that's what I had uh, for seeds. But you can see it grew all the way up to the top. That is the top notch that this light goes to. This is already preset like we spoke about earlier. And the basil is at that level too. So you can see the basil is, is grown perfectly in both of these units. The mini tomatoes in the Smart Guide 9 are going to take probably another month before they grow. To, but probably around three months is what uh, what I read on the website to grow. Uh, I did have to replant uh, parsley in thyme here because I was missing a couple of pods. But you can see the lettuce is fully grown. I'm going to be wiping that out a little later on with a salad. Basil just grows fantastic. Mint also, it grows like you know wild in these things. Uh, and also the time. So when the time gets going, this thing is going to take off completely. So from what I see, I think you can go either way with the Aero Garden uh, Harvest or the larger units. Uh, I was sent this one here, the, the Click and Grow. That, that one that was sent to me by Click and Grow to match it up here. And it looks like it held its own. It did very well. Less maintenance. I didn't have to add any food, just water every 10 days or so. This one here reminds you to feed it. Uh, every uh, every week and a half or so and to add water but other than that the growth both perfectly the click and grow is a little bit less maintenance than the aero garden so i'll leave some links down below in the description section for each one of these units i'm going to be harvesting a lot here over the next few weeks uh, if i have anything to add check the community section i'll be posting some updates especially with the tomatoes here or if i plant anything else in the aero garden once i clean out the the basil which is probably gonna keep growing for a few more weeks anyway. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope this was informative. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.